Hey beauties, good afternoon to you, my beautiful people. You know, beautiful people, you know, sometimes I've been following this particular story on TikTok of a TikToker who presumably um, scammed a, a, a British woman of 90,000 pounds and so on. And he's, you know, bringing the argument that did not, it was a sort of mutual, you know, beneficial exchange in a sense even though she did not literally get, you know, the physical sexual encounter she would design. This is what I'm hearing allegedly on the on the story, you know, just to give you a sort of back end of it. And, uh, you know, you have heard the term a woman scorned. So she basically was used and abused in her mind, you know, thinking she would have gotten, you know, the sexual encounter and, it, you know, realizing that he already has his people and uh, she just just went you know like a loose cannon even putting up his picture and then you're hearing that she's bringing his mother in it in terms of putting up her picture and all of that and going on for this thing has been going on for a couple months going on three and and so on it it, it just seemed to never end and i i want to encourage people listen listen beautiful people listen wonderful people ensure that you do not use and abuse people that thing will backfire in ways that you cannot handle it will backfire in ways that you cannot manage and when fear comes upon you you end up doing evil and the repercussions continue and have a snowballing effect men if you know you're not interested in the women do not use them and abuse them do not take their things i never dreamed the day i would ever get up seen men licky licky nyami nyami a tech from women comfortably i cannot believe that i'm living in a world seeing this is as though we have swapped out our our the, the, we have swapped out our our genitalia our vagina vulva and swapped and taken on the balls and the testicles and the penis with a masculine look because i cannot understand how men think it is you know it is cool or the repercussions won't be grave and grandiose when they do this yes you have women who practice things like this and i don't laud it because i've often believed that if you're not interested in a man a woman should not take his things do not take his things because for them it is an investment and they want a return on their investment they want a return on their investment so i've i'm not in support of women doing it but i'm saying men how do I put it? Let us have a real to real, real conversation. You see how, how there are some things women just shouldn't do that you guys do. Like for example, I don't laud it, but it looks horrible when you see women with a plethora of men that they're sleeping around with. You know, it may not look as bad, but it is bad and can be as bad. And, and I notice I'm talking about the perception for with men um, sleeping with a number of women it is something that has almost been accepted you hear songs you know man we have enough gal and gal in a bungle but it is frowned upon when women actually try to do same we don't we don't like it it is not you know we, we it is frowned upon as i said and uh, with that i am saying people when you know you're not interested do not use them i'm telling you karma is a dog <laughs> karma is a dog and you know it's not dog i want to say karma isn't pretty and you may think you can handle it but you don't know what the karma will bring and it's oftentimes it oftentimes come at an inopportune time or what comes you cannot handle it you cannot handle the shame the embarrassment the humiliation the disgrace and if it ever has any legal ramifications dog name your supper your dinner and your breakfast and the in-between little food no it must be horrible for that man to be seeing his picture posted up saying some scammer thing i mean the lady should stop because the reality is i mean it has already gone through the, the the horse has already gone through the gate i don't know if she can recover her money to say that she was she had recovered some but you know i'm saying when you know that thing about a woman scorned not all women are like that, but you don't know who will be what. Some men don't put yourselves in that. You never used to do it. You're going to take up something you know, do. 
Remember that women are the ones who are designed to receive, you know. I know when they're going out in, in, into something that's not natural for them to give and you take, you use that and abuse that, it becomes problematic. It becomes problematic. That is just, you know, one side. A word to the wise is sufficient unto the day. So it's all up to you. If you feel that you should, do it. If not, don't do it. Do, my encouragement, don't because you cannot handle the repercussions. Secondly, you know, when I thought about it, I said, what, what a situation for if what is said that you were scammed 90,000 pounds. How much is that in Jamaican? That's about, wow. That could be running almost close to 20 million Jamaican dollars, is it? Or maybe I'm, you know, but in the billions. The point I'm making, it's in the millions. And I said, boy, God, you know, sometimes it's kind of a karma on, on, on people like that, you know, because... Oftentimes you'll hear, I was reading in, I'm, I just completed the book of Isaiah, I mean Jeremiah, early chapters in Jeremiah. But I remember in the latter part of the book of Isaiah, it says, um, people help your relatives, help your relatives so that it's almost like it's saying so that a blessing can befall you. In the book of Isaiah, I'm going to do another live. Hear me, I'm going to do another post, give you the exact chapter, uh, verse so that you can read it. Help your relatives help your relatives some of you you don't help your family members you don't help your relatives you don't see it fit but as soon as maybe for the woman you see a, a nice man all of your money goes there and him and the, the karma that reaches you it's horrible it's horrific it's like you you pick up the worst human being on the planet when the man start to turn on you or vice versa the man doesn't help his family member and take up a walk. God, woman, niam him ochi, niam him goshi, niam him come, niam him up, niam him down. If him go down a hell, which he probably has, she go down, they go niam him out. And it is, it is your karma sometimes. It's karma, you know, people. It is an unfortunate situation because sometimes when you do a trace and you go back in history, probably that same person did not help family members who asked them for help and they could have helped and did not help or even if they did they did it meagerly they did it sparingly not bountifully when i heard i mean if that is so true ninety thousand to somebody that you have no clue about you don't know and you were trying to make find ways of getting the person to come to you and would and say that you're going to spoil them did you spoil your other family members who reached out to for your help who you're related to who, who are in need and you see somebody on the internet that you have no clue about nothing about them you don't know them from a to bullfoot from the first day the alphabet was made or the first letter in the alphabet and you reach out and you spend ninety thousand pounds if it is true huh and could not give not even a quarter of that to your family members sometimes these things will happen to you when you're mean to your family members, God will allow ways to, to um, think situations to arise that you pull out far more than that out of your hand, out of your pocket. It's like you want to have holes in your bank accounts. You want to have holes if they were able to drill a hole in the vaults and the thieves were able to go there and find your money. You want to hold them, find it. Them going to investment and find it. Going in your purse and find it. Yes, because you did too mean and wicked and evil to your family members. It's a reality. So it's twofold. It's not just, you know, the, the, the use, using and abusing of people, boopsing out people. But someone or two mean, go and read it. It's in the book of Isaiah. You can Google it. It says, help your family members, help your relatives, your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, your niece, your nephew, reach out to you. You know, and you, t you turn your back on them. You probably curse them. And when you look, you know what? It's like it just set up a situation. It set up, and you end up spending far more per man if he's a woman, and vice versa. If the man end up spending far more on the woman, and you lose out. Sad, sad reality, but it is a reality. Sad, sad reality, but it is. A reality. <laughs> oh my lord. You guys need to make your calling an election. True. But don't use and abuse anybody. And listen if your family members want help. Help them because you are going to get your karma too. So it's a two way stream. And the karma is nice. Either way. 
you know guys know what to do read tiktok and youtube have a good